what we're going to do now is go through the, the ABCs and aromatherapy oils, yeah, where it's possible, and to see what, what effects that you get from, from smelling them. Yeah? So under A for aldehyde, there aren't really any essential oils that are principally uh, al aldehydic. Maybe orange, tapenous tep orange oil, but we don't have that. The next one is B, which is cooling and suppressing. Yeah. So almost all oils that you find in the B group, first they're cooling, but the effect of cooling is to suppress because it slows the blood flow. Now, eucalyptus, yeah, if, you, if you smell it too much, First of all, it helps you to breathe. So why would it help you to breathe if it's constricting? What, actually, what is it? As it can, oh, sorry, yeah. Well, it's because of its cooling effect, but what's happening is, is it's reducing the, the blood vessels, but it's also reducing the mucous membranes so that in the nose, the passages get bigger, so you can breathe more, yeah? Does that make sense or not? So, if you imagine that's your, when you have a cold, this is swollen, yeah? So, by reducing the, the blood pressure, it removes that, that blockage and then you can breathe more. So how do you how do you feel when you smell this? <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Horrible. Quite refreshing. Refreshing? Yeah. Can you feel can you feel the slight ache on the back of your eyeballs? Yeah. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Can you feel it on your eyes? <laughs> yeah, feel it here? Pressure? Does anybody have like a, a vapex or pepex with them? Pepex? Sticks, yeah. Okay, a stick. A small bottle. I like cream. Okay, now. Yeah, no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, because you'll find that in Thailand, you will see sometimes people they sniff these all day. Yeah, and even even sometimes you see them walking along the road with one stuck in their nose or even two yeah <laughs> oh look there yeah, here we have yeah here we have so i, I won't put it in my nose you're right <laughs> oh no yeah so that's it now yeah the problem the problem with these ah uh, Yadom. Is that if you if you if you use them every day all day, what happens is that initially they help you to breathe, but eventually what they do is actually suppress your immune system because they're flowing they're slowing your blood flow down, so you become more likely to get colds and flu. Yeah? So use with use with caution. Never never get addicted to them. Hey, this is, the, this is the one I'm looking for. I like this one. <laughs> Sit in I. Sorry? Oh. Mm. But that's a combination of cool and hot notes. But the danger, particularly with eucalyptus, is it's drying. So if you use too much, yeah. Used for acute systems, but not chronic si symptoms. Yeah, chronic, chronic. Yeah. 
Symptoms. Okay, next is C, citrus. When you smell this one, particularly notice how your facial muscles feel. Relax. How do your muscles in your face feel? Smiling. Eucalyptus. And have you smelled it yet? Yeah. yeah. How did you? How do you feel your face? I feel more relaxed. It feels more relaxed. Do you feel any like pull to smile? <laughs> no. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So usually these, these oils in the C group are uh, related to refreshing and happy. Yeah. And healthy tropical. Mm. Upside down smile. Upside <laughs> down. <laughs> Next one is uh, Tonka bean. That was this, uh, this bean from South America with the coumarin. Okay, so in your, in your books, what I suggest you do is, is write down how you feel, how these make you feel. Notice where they affect you in your body. These are the clues to how the oils work. That's right. Yeah, that goes in your, yeah, 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 how, y how you feel. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it, Rich? There. Mm. Quite, quite sensitive. Can you get it there? No, it's quite, quite sensitive. Yeah. I think in my brain. Like there? Christmas yeah? Cake. Christmas cake. Yeah. 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 How many of you feel it in about here in your stomach? Is that the other one? Mm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It's got some of that aspect to it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get that? The fullness? Flat. Did you smell it? How did you feel? How did you feel when you smelt the tonka bean? Okay, smell this one. No, 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 don't like it, feel it. Yeah, here, here. Yeah? yeah? Yummy feeling, yeah, yeah sort of. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it's got vanilla aspects. Yeah, that's coumarin character. I even get coffee and yeah for it, chocolate. And yeah, it's a shame we can't eat them. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I I'm not sure if they use them. I think they do use them in flavors actually, but they don't eat. The, I know the beans that you, that you don't eat. They were too bitter. Jum, jum gone, yeah? Mm. 
So fruity, we edible and fruity, we haven't got anything to, to show you. Because there are, you know, there are there is no strawberry oil. The only one you can get about is black currant. Yeah, black currant, absolutely there is. But that's really from the leaves, not from the, the, the fruit. But we don't have that. Yeah, and Bupu has a, yeah, like a fruity sort of uh, black currant character too. G, the next one, green. Green, have we got? How, how does this one, how, where does this one affect you? Where can you smell it? Where can you feel it? Where can you feel it? Throat and into the top of the chest. No, yeah? G, G, G. It's a, it's a, uh, a tree resin like uh, frankincense. It has this green character. Where did you feel it, Paul? Where did you feel it? You're not, you're not feeling it anywhere. You don't have to like it or dislike it. You just have to feel it. Where did you feel it? Put your hand where you feel it. Yeah, all around here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's it has a natural it has a natural feel to it, but again, suppressing it's it's if you're excited, helps you to calm down. Yeah. So if you're very excited, this would help you to calm down. Yeah. So, tomato leaf. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that, yeah. It, w the main ingredient is actually cis 3 hexanol, but there are traces of yeah, loads of other stuff, things in there, yeah. Small amounts. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Probably thiazoles as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next one is uh, H. Lavender, lavender oil, herb. How do you feel? New Zealand organic lavender oil. Yes. <laughs> Sorry? Well, Francesca, we a sample of uh, Kanuka oil yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Relax. How do you feel? You're open, relaxed. Sleepy. <laughs> mm, yes. It smells quite similar to tea tree, I thought. Sorry? Better. <laughs> from, from the big country, yeah. <laughs> How, how do you feel? Do you feel this relaxing effect? Yeah. No. <laughs> Look, yawning. <laughs> Claire's falling asleep. The lavender oil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, lavender is is probably the single most interesting essential oil. Yeah, by far. But number two is chamomile. The only problem with chamomile 
is that it's a lot more expensive. So it's used less than it would be, yeah. But uh, it's also very, very, very th th therapeutic. From the flower, flowering tops, I think, yeah. For chamomile will come out blue. There's two types of chamomile. There's the, the Roman chamomile, which is the English, and that's clear, slightly straw colored. And then there's the German chamomile, which changes to blue. But it's not blue naturally, it happens as a reaction in the, st in the distillation process, and it changes to blue. Sorry? Ah, everybody smelt lavender? How do you feel? Relaxing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next is Iris. Iris. Yeah, Iris, yep. Iris. <laughs> Does it run out now? You need more. You, do you need some more? <laughs> How about the bee? Will the bee work? And the stomach. But you, uh, is it to do with like traveling too much as well? Yeah, not too much. Yeah. Well, no. See, if you think of aromatherapy for healing, so the purpose of aromatherapy is to heal or for therapy, but. There's another branch which is close to aromatherapy, and that's making perfumes only using natural materials. Yeah? So if you're making a perfume from natural materials, you can use anything that's natural. You can use balsams, you can use absolutes, resinoids, yeah, you can use essential oils. Yeah. So there's a so it's a sort of branch of aromatherapy. Yeah. How do you feel with the iris? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty soft, yeah. Can I, can I just have a look at the I'll improve it. Smell it more? Jasmine. Jasmine is the narcotic, make you feel dizzy, aphrodisiac. Yeah? Jasmine, thank you. 10%? No, okay. Oh, no, no. Yeah. So where, where do you feel the jasmine? Yeah, but it's slightly different from, like, the tonka bean you felt there, but it's a different feeling. Yeah? It's actually more like you want to vomit. Yeah? Can you feel it coming? <coughs> absolute, yeah. French, French, Jasmine, absolute. Where, where can you feel it? Where can you feel it? Yeah? And you know, for example, the tonka bean, you felt like full. This one, do you feel like you want to be sick? Yeah? Mm. That's the narcotic, narcotic effect. Ah. 
K, 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 K. Uh -huh. Oh, L. Uh, have you given K out already? K, L? L, K? Oh, I see, it's out of order. Okay. Sorry? Okay. <laughs> rubber, yeah, some rubber character. Yeah, a bit, a bit like rubbery. It has a fresher, greener character, Jasmine Sandback. Yeah. Jasmine Sandback is the uh, Asian Jasmine. Juniper berry. In in the group K, you're very useful for de detoxifying. Yeah. Now, my own my own massage oil that I that I when I go for a massage, aromatherapy massage, I take my own oil. Yeah. That's, that's how you control it, yeah? <laughs> but it's, it's basically 50% lavender oil and 30% juniper, yeah? And then there are things like tea tree and rose and other things to make it nicer, yeah? Um, and more uh, antibacterial. But the juniper, juniper is great for detoxifying. It opens up the, um, from your kidneys, yeah, to, to like flush out your kidneys. So it's really good for back aches and things, and yeah. yeah. Thank you. <coughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, Oris is the root, yeah. Oris is the root. Yeah, the iris is the, like the flower, but for some reason they don't call it iris fruit, they call it oris fruit. I, I, I don't know why, I don't know why. Yeah. Well, o oris, oris absolute, yeah, if you get oris absolute, it's in the range of 40,000 pounds a kilo. Yeah? No, the flower, the flower has no smell. The flower has no smell of interest. Yeah, and if you if you take the roots, yeah, you have to keep them for about a year or so, or two before the smell develops, yeah, and then you can extract them. Oris and iris. It's just the oris is the name given to the root. Sorry. I, yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, but I don't know why. I don't know why it's come up with Oris, yeah. So it's none of the flower, Yeah, none of it's the flower, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's all from the root. But in the Oris flower, there is a, a real Oris? Uh, there's a little bit of the extract, but not much because of the price. <laughs> yeah. 40,000 pounds per kilo, yeah. The Iris Absolute Florentine. Yeah. Sorry? Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, oh. <laughs> <Oui. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> L, L. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Rosewood, L. 
Give him L. Yeah. L. Rosewood. L. <laughs> Rosewood. Rosewood. So a little bit like the herbal notes, the, the group, the ones in L are, tend to be neutral, tend to be balancing. That's nice. What is it? Sorry? The, ma the main component of rosewood is about 80% of linalol. I uh, see. Yeah. Sorry? The main component of rosewood is linalol. Yeah, about 80%. How much About 80, 80%. Yeah. Hopefully naturally, natural. Okay, M, N, N. Sadly, there's no natural muge essential oil or extract. Because the French name, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Today. Can't say anything tomorrow, though. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just the Rainbow. Oh yeah, Rainbow Warrior, yeah. <laughs> don't 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 mention the Rainbow Warrior. <laughs> Next one is uh, narcotic. Again, like jasmine, this is narcotic and aphrodisiac. How did did you smell the jasmine? How did you feel? Did it make you feel sick? No? Okay, good. Oh, is that Champaka? That one? Oh, Champaka, yes, yeah. yeah. They're, the, they're the little flowers on the end of the garlands that they sell at the side of the road in Thailand. Okay. The, long, the slightly longer ones, the uh, flower petals. Oh, so you like essential oil, so yeah. you don't have a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Just the aldehydes here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you hot? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> It's a good room, okay. She moved change seats, okay. <laughs> true, 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 true. Warm and sweet. Where's the, the champaka? How did you feel? I don't really feel sick. Yeah, yeah, you've got the same sort of thing as jasmine, but this one's not quite as deep. Jasmine was more there. Try, try that. More sick. Mm. Don't like it. Yeah, it's interesting. No, I, I mean, I love this smell. Rick, Rick's just said that like, how great it is. But so many people just don't like it. It's like targets? You like targets? No, because it's a similar to, sort of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, ashtrays. <laughs> it's better than Jasmine. Better than Jasmine. Mm. 
Okay, O, orchid. This is this is actually uh, sweet birch, which is like wintergreen, but not quite. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure actually. No, I think it might be the bark. The, the uh, bark. But I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh. Sorry. I will see. Yeah. Sweet birch, yes, it's from birch tree, but I'm not sure if it's from the tree or the leaves. Makes not But I think birch tar is from the bark. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because it's a salicylate, but it's not very floral. Yeah, it's not very orchidy. So it's quite medicinal. Aphrodisiac. Warming for the warmth. You find it warming? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Um, nice. Something that you use on, um, on muscle sprains. Counter pain. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think, um, the next place I go to yeah. More likely to be uh, wintergreen. But mm. yeah. This is it's a birch, sweet birch. Yeah, ready? Yep. <laughs> time, time oil. Just a point about the the, the ones in the P, the P group, the phenol group. Yeah. They need to be used with caution because the phenols kill bacteria. Bacteria are cells. We are made of cells. So if we take too much, it kills us too. Phenol. Yeah, like phenol chemical. The main ingredient in, um, in thyme oil is thymol. And it's the same as the material they use in Listerine mouthwash. Yeah. Well, f yeah, phenol isn't used for extraction, but uh, yeah, benzene or burning the skin. Yes, yeah, yeah, burns the skin. Yeah, yeah. So, so it can be toxic in excess. Okay, next. Next is uh, benzoin. <coughs> Q. Benzo gums tend to be comforting, give a rich feeling. Where do you feel it? How do you, where do you feel it? P. Phenol. Yeah. Listerine mouthwash. Yeah. If you, if you, too much P will kill you. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel it down here at all or? I think the thing that you can feel in the head is actually the salt. They use benzoyl benzoate in there to, to make it fluid. And that's probably what's causing the, the head headache. Yeah. But the benzoyl in itself should, should, should affect you like down this area. <laughs> See? Yeah, I mean most... Most gums, like the like the aluminum yeah. that Hamdan brought along, yeah. Yes. <laughs> now you've got it. You can't smell anything else now. <laughs> yes, yeah. The Java one is uh, more smoky. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Cyan benzoin is uh, much sweeter. Yeah. The Java one's a bit smoky, a bit burnt. Sumatra, yeah, yeah. Black magic. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Where can you feel the benzoin? How do you feel it? Where? Yeah. Um, it's it's quite popular actually for skin products to it grajap it's it like tightens the skin. R R Lemonade. Ro so the rose, romantic, balancing. Do you feel the romance? Does it not come to you? No romance in your life. <laughs> that's, a, that's a quiet smile, isn't it? It's like a knowing smile. <laughs> Tea. Rose tea. Tea. Rose. Turkish delight. Not quite, but you need the you need the oil for that. Yeah. Not very off sort. <laughs> Well, this is this is the rose de May, which is the French rose, the ab the extract. But yeah, it's yes, yeah, yeah. You like the smell? <laughs> Where did you feel it? Rose, absolute. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, rose. Oh, tonka bean. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, uh, it comes from very few areas. It comes from just South America. Uh, th these beans are actually, oh, so these ones are from uh, New, uh, Venezuela. But uh, I'm not sure of the, the harvesting. Yeah, I guess. But the, the best distillations come from uh, France. Yeah. yeah. And the, my favorite is from, actually, it's from Givadan. It used to be from Ruhr, but Givadan bought Ruhr and they bought the, uh, the, the method of extraction. No tonga bean for the sweetness. <laughs> yeah, next. S. S, yeah. S. Yeah, I was going to just say something about spice. Spice, because it opens the blood vessels, increases blood flow, it can be very irritating, yeah? So, and hot. So in, in a mixture, you'd, you never want to use more than about 1% in, in something like a massage oil, yeah? Maybe less. Possibly, yeah. Yes. And I'm thinking it's a bit more lemony. Ginger flower. Like that, or in the Aldi had C10. Mm. Okay. Last few. Tea, burnt. That's right, yeah. It's one percent solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Tar and smoke, birch tar oil. Smoke and drink. Yeah, smoking and drinking. Smoking and drinking. This is only a one percent solution, the birch tar. Extremely, extremely strong. Sweet birch. Yeah. U labdanum, next. <laughs> Aphrodisiac. <laughs> Rose de May. The bark, but it's produced by destructive distillation. So it, instead of using water, they just put it into a still and they heat the still. And then smoke is produced. So there's no water, yeah? Just you put it into a closed still and you heat it and heat it and heat it. And then with no air, what happens is the, the tar evaporates. They're like a smoke. And they catch the smoke. Yeah, and you get those without without water. Yeah, no steam, no water. Just just the smoke, just heating without air. Uh, it can be fire or it can be outside. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's why it gets the burn the burnt smell. 
Pyrolysis, yeah. So yeah, yeah, pyrolysis. It can be. There's another one that's used is Hawthorne. Another one uses Cade. But it's it's according to which gives you the best the best smell. Okay, next is uh, V. V coming? Is that V? Oh. <laughs> Sorry? Birch. Birch. It does. <laughs> what is bitch oil? The bitch oil. <laughs> the bitch tar oil. <laughs> So vanilla, how do you feel? Vanilla absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're brown, yeah. Yeah. Vanilla. Yeah. It just means extra, uh, it's uh, Sir Absolute, it's refined so that it's more soluble. Yeah, it's, it's refined a second stage because vanilla Absolute, uh, when it's produced, is not very alcohol soluble. So they, 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 have, they refine it once again. Like super or, yeah. That's okay, sir. W, okay. Like ice cream. Like ice cream, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a nice ice cream as well. Good quality ice cream, not, not, not Walls or Nestle. W, wood. The wood oils make you feel stable. Yeah. You get the skin. Sorry. You get the skin. You. Yogurt. Yogurt. Oh yogurt. Oh yogurt ice cream. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of companies that do it. I think Swenson's used to do it. I'm not sure if they do now in the mall. And there's one called something like yogurt, yogurt ice cream or something. I forget what the name is, but I think you, you can get. But like, what's my ice cream without the cream? <laughs> yeah. That's the vanilla. Yeah. Vetiver. Oh, spare W. Can I? Sorry, can I take that? Only <laughs> four. Okay. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. 
Yeah, okay, it's coming. Nothing, nothing for X. And then Y, last but not least, Y for grounding. Sorry? The buds. I don't know the left and the bud. I suppose it makes sense, but I don't I don't know. I thought it was the leaves. When they're before they're open. I, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. That's interesting. That would understand, that would make it make sense why it's so sort of gooey, uh, such a gooey smell, yeah, sticky smell, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Uh, it really is, it is, but it's like a, yeah, you, you see here I've got CCV too, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because there's not really any other other material there in in the. Yeah. 